Mark, you've um, shopped well so far in summer. You've got seven signings over the line. Latest one being Luke James. How, how delighted are you to get him on board? Yeah, happy. Uh, everybody I spoke to spoke glowingly about him in terms of his, his character, um, his ability. And, and the, un, the only underriding factor was that you know everybody felt if he scored one goal, he'd score a hatful. And um, you can't keep working as hard as he does on a football pitch without scoring goals or getting opportunities to score goals. So he he adds nicely to our, you know, sort of complement of striking options. Yeah. He spent a season long learning at Bristol Rovers. Didn't quite work out for him in, in terms of goals ratio. He was dubbed to be the, the next Matty Taylor at Bristol Rovers, which, you know, is a lot, a lot of pressure. But there was a lot of impression. The fans have spoken quite highly of him. And I know you've said this week, your job, one of the jobs is to get him scoring, isn't yeah. it? I spoke to Daryl Clark about him. Daryl loves him, you know, and um, said he did really well for him. The only thing missing was a goal. But if you look back a couple of years, and he, he was a little bit younger at Hartley Paul, he scored a lot of goals. So he can he can definitely do it. It's just just up to us to try and unlock that. And if he was the finish article, we wouldn't be getting him. You know, um, Peter wouldn't be uh, letting him leave on a free transfer after paying half a million for him. So. It's all about sort of trying to unlock that potential that's definitely there, which we've done with some other players, and, and that's what we're going to try and do. When I spoke to him yesterday, he said he sees himself primarily as a striker, but he can also play out wide. What are your plans for him? Well, he, he can play up front on his own. He can play in a two, he can play in a three, he can play in behind, and that's the kind of players I like. I like players that are flexible, can play in a variety of positions. It enables you then to have a tight knit squad and, and not too many players where you can get in a bit of a mess so first thing he's got to do is work hard try and get himself in the team like all of them and uh, and we'll take it from there transfer window slams shut august 31st still quite a lot of time still eyeing a few players yeah we're short defensively uh, sort of central defensively which we're we're, we're looking to, to resolve really quickly um Obviously, with Ethan going, it's left us left us one short. So that's the position we're looking at. It's I could take plenty of players, but I've got to make sure I get the right one. And I'd rather take a little bit more time and make sure I get one that is the right fit for for our dressing room, for our club, and, and for the way we play. And I guess with players still making their minds up, there will be some that probably want to play in League One that will drop onto your sort of radar. Definitely. That, that's the that's, that's that's what I'm hoping for. I've spoke to two or three that are hoping to get fixed up at League One, and 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 then sort of three or four that I'm speaking to are all probably vying for one position at one League One club. So we're hoping that one or two come available and and, and fit exactly into what we're trying to get. I, I know the ones that I, that I want, and um, any 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 sort of one of the three or four that I've targeted will do us fine. Mm -hmm. Will everything be done done and dusted by the time you head off to Portugal in the, the final week in July? That's the plan, Ash. Of course, that that would be, I, you know, ideally I'd want them in now. And but if we can get them in for the start of, of next week when we start to play, you know, our likes of Western Bristol Rovers and go to Portugal, then I'll, I'll be really pleased. Yeah. Talking of games, two games this weekend tonight, Friday mm. at Shortwood, Saturday at Brimscombe. What are your plans with your, your team selection there? Are you going strong? Academy, try this. The boys have come back in really good shape, so we've been able to do a lot of work on the training pitch and you know they've we've done all you know some conditioning work but we've we've done an awful, awful lot of football as well to try and get them back used to the ball, which is what we we try and be good at. So um tonight will be a full a full selection, full sort of squad. We'll utilise the squad. We've got one or two um little injury worries, Liam Noble. Um, as an injury, Drissa lost his mum um, the other night, um, in the middle of the night. So, really sad for Drissa. He's back in France. So, our thoughts are with him. Yeah. Um, so, we're a little bit short in the middle of the pitch. But uh, but everybody in, in the first team will be featuring tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, you, you run the rule over a few trialists at Bishop's Cleaver. Are, are we likely to see them, them again? Yeah, there'll be a couple of the boys that played the other night will play. Um, they'll play a part tonight and tomorrow. And then we'll start making decisions on them. 
but uh, it'll be a you know it'll be strong teams today and tomorrow.